Puget Sound, an endangered beauty. So far, we're losing more habitat and we're restoring. The salmon populations here have declined as much as 90% from their historic levels. The habitat that supported all the coho runs that the tribes historically fished doesn't exist anymore. So the original stewards of these sacred waters are leading the effort to defend them. Accumulation of a lot of work. For nearly 30 years, the Suquamish and Muckleshoot tribes have combined efforts to bring coho back to Puget Sound. We raise these fish to replace the ones that don't exist anymore. Each spring, they stock these Elliott Bay fish pens with healthy juveniles from an inland hatchery to prepare them for a life at sea. And that's to acclimate the coho from that fresh water to salt water transition. Here, protected from predators for a full three months, they're given a chance to thrive. We feed them, they triple in size. That allows them to be really healthy when they go out into the Puget Sound. Survival rate goes way up. Rob Purser is the Suquamish Fisheries Director and a tribal elder. This is the backbone of our culture. Today, he and his crew are about to release nearly one million healthy fish into Puget Sound. When the side of the pen is opened, the salmon head instinctively to sea. They know. <laughs> Here they go, and they're off. We get good fish survival, and it gives a chance for a lot of fishermen to catch these fish and to feed the orcas, and it, it is a, it's a feel-good story, I think. This is Suquamish tribe biologist Mike Huff's 22nd and final salmon release. Never get tired of seeing it. Never get tired of seeing it. He'll be retiring soon. It's time for the young kids to take over. But the work goes on. That's what we do. <laughs> bringing new life to a threatened ecosystem. And it is kind of like a goosebumps feeling, realizing that now there's about a million more fish in the Puget Sound than there were yesterday. It's a good feeling.